Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Professor Hefe's videos for Calculus 3. This is 11.4 uh, in our Anton book on cross products. To lead the discussion on cross products, we're going to look at determinants first. So the determinant of a matrix, a uh, plural form of matrix is matrices. Uh, if we look at the two by two form, uh, matrix comes with A, B, C, D. Determinant with, is usually written, written as D, E, T in front of it. What you're doing is you're multiplying this diagonal and then you're going to subtract that diagonal. So AD minus BC. If I apply this here, uh, another way of looking at it right here is if we have the matrix set up like that, finding the determinant four times three is 12 minus two times five is 10, 12 minus 10 is two. Why don't you guys go ahead and give it a try? For negative three, negative four is the top row and five, three for the bottom row. Pause the video for a second and then go ahead and do it. Okay. If we do the diagonals, we've got negative three times three minus negative four times five. I've got negative nine plus 20. I am getting 11. Okay. That's in two dimensions. If we kick it up a notch and go into three dimensions, We've got A1, A2, A3, D1, B2, B3, C1, C2, C3. The way you do a determinant for a three, three by three matrix is you go along one row and you just choose a different column each time. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go along the top row and I'll do A1 times what's left over. If I cross off the row in the first column, I'm left with B2, B3, C2, C3. So I've got A1 times that right there. And then I move over to the next one. I'm in the top row center column. I cross off the top row. I do the vertical and I cross off the middle row and I got B1, C1 and B3, C3. The middle one is a minus. You got to remember that. This is a really big one. It's minus. Uh, finally, there is A3. It's doing the third column. So cross off the top row, cross off the third column. What's left is the matrix B1, B2, C1, C2. And there's another way of doing this. I, I don't write, even write down these matrices when I'm doing it. I don't even write down this when I'm doing it. I'm teaching it to you that way. Another common way people do it is copy A1, B1, C1 over and A2, B2, C2 over. And we'll do that in class uh, if you like doing it that way. I don't know, it takes up more room on paper. I'm not a big fan of it. If we look at an example. We're gonna have the matrix one, two, four, 307 and negative 245. So if we go along the top row, I've got one times the sub matrix 0745. And then the next one along the row is two. Remember we subtract though. So I'm gonna do minus two times the sub matrix from the first row and first column and third column. I've got three, seven and negative two, five. And then we do our third one in the row, which is the four, it's back to addition. And our sub matrix is from the first two columns, three, zero and negative two, four. Then it's just a lot of working it out. We got the determinant of those two by two matrices. I did out some math there. We've got one times negative 28, negative two times 29, which is negative 58. And four times 12 is 48. The determinant of this three by three matrix is negative 38. And that's it for the first section. Just doing, showing you how to do determinants. Peace.